Hello, I'm Tenran432, and today I'm going to be playing more Mega Man Zero 2. In the last part, uh, we finished off the last of the, well, uh, main stages with the fighting Fefnir guy. And uh, then we found out Alpaizo's evil plan to unlock the Dark Elf. And, uh, and we tried to stop him, but uh, we only got to the first part of the Arcadia. And now, I'm gonna try to go further and see, try to get to the center of the new Arcadian city. Or something like that. Anyway, it's the Temple of Flame. Are you sure? Okay, now guess who's gonna be at the Temple of Flame? Anyway, I just uh, upgraded Zero a little bit with the Cyber Elves that I for some reason didn't use in the last episode. Or part, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, but now we're on our way. So, here we go. Alright, mission start, cool music, and here we go. So, um, when you go in here, you're gonna see these lava things. Lava, um, lava pools, I guess. And, um, you're going to want to blow up these crumbling rock things using these bomb enemies. But yeah, that kind of took a while, a little while on this part, for some reason, but uh, I'll make sure to speed it up so it isn't, um, painfully long. Painfully long. So yeah, I'll speed it up when uh, I get to the part where I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I believe we're almost there. This part is kind of hard, uh, you have to, when you blow those things up, unless you blow them up partially, or in the middle part, then you have to swing across, and if you're not good at swinging across, then uh, you're going to have a hard time with that. In this next part, I also have a hard time because in these enclosed spaces, you have to lure the bomb enemies from you, but then they explode when they touch each other. So, uh, it's kind of difficult with the walls being so close together. But anyway, I'm gonna speed up here just so you don't have to watch this for like quite a long time. Okay, so I finally got across and uh, got the extra life. But anyway, um, once you pass that part, uh, you just have to fall down here. I don't believe there's any extra items above that pink spike thing, whatever it is. But uh, at the time, I did not know that. So I tried going up there anyway to find nothing. So I just fell back down and kept going. We got some of these nice enemies, so just. Uh, take it slowly, should be okay. And then, uh, at this part, I forgot to apply that cyber up that makes your health bigger. So, I don't know why I didn't do that before, but I did now. So, um, just keep going, these platforms will start to crumble, so, uh, you have to be quick, but not too quick, because they don't crumble that fast. Just grab the next cyber elf, and then, uh, you have to climb up this thing where the lava is rising and the platforms are falling. So you have to kind of be really quick about that now, but not too quick, like I said, because the platforms are falling up too quick. Anyway, I believe we're at the bot. Anyway, we are about at the boss fight now, so there you go. Um, told you to guess who it was. And you are correct if you guessed dot da dot 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 fighting Fefnir. Hey Zero, you came along to get Alpaiso? I know you did. He's crazy about the Dark Elf. Leave that guy to Harpoo and have fun with me instead. Yeah, get ready for a fight. Yeah. yeah. Not in any ordinary car, this car shoots fire. 
anyway, um, the main goal in this fight is it would probably be to destroy all the cannons he has. Because when you do, he has less attack capabilities. So maybe use your Z Saber to destroy the cannons. And then after that, you can just aim for his head and do uh, a lot of damage with your charged Z Saber or whatever. And uh, once he's once all of his cannons are destroyed, he just keeps shooting those fire things at you, little fire things at you, like that for the rest of the fight. And uh, that's pretty much all to it. I don't know why he would choose a car to turn into, but he did. Um, that was his mistake because I already. Got him. had powered up. No match for you. I... I won't give up. Someday. I'll destroy you for sure. Just you, just you wait. Okay. Well, next time don't turn into a car. Oh, well. <laughs> so, Seal set a coordinate axis so we can return to base and take a little break. So, yeah. Stay tuned for more Mega Man Zero action after the break. Are you bored with your cheap plastic toys? Yeah. Well then, you need TR Studio's brand new cheap plastic. Wow. That's right, and Anonymous even calls it one of his favorite forms of entertainment since the internet. This amazing gadget can even be used as a source of family fun for everyone. Also, if the price of $13.99 wasn't good enough for you, for the next five minutes, you can buy one and get one half off. Buy yours today. Okay, so now that we're back, uh, it turns out I have even more cyber elves that I didn't upgrade before. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade those. But so, uh... I'll just speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch it because you've seen me upgrade plenty of other side worlds before. Okay, so now that we finally upgraded and downloaded the side worlds, let's actually use them. So I think that one that I just had, um, upgrades your defense or something. And I'm not sure what this one does, but it says you'll never fall to me. But anyway, uh, let's do our next mission. And it is into the Temple of Ice. Ice. Anyway, here we go. We are now ready to transfer. Transfer start. Please don't overstrain yourself. Okay. Okay, so we got our cool music. And I just did uh, an ice pun. Oh well, disregard that pun there. So this level, it's uh, a lot easier, I think, compared to the other level where you had to swing across and have the bombs and stuff. But uh, in the start, you just have to go across these water areas and just defeat the enemies that are there. And uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't really know why I'm taking so much, taking all my time trying to cross this level. I can't even jump right? Oh well. Um, I think there was a secret item up there or something. Or maybe a, a one-up, I don't know. But apparently I wasted all my time because I didn't get it, so uh... Anyway, on Yark. So in this next part, uh, you could actually, um swing across on the ceiling, like, uh, okay, let me just pull out my chain rod, like this, and, uh, you always get close enough just so that you don't hit the spikes, 
or at least that's what I do. No matter how close I get, I try not to hit the spikes because they will kill you instantly. Anyway, um, if you didn't swing across there, it's pretty easy. It's just a few jumps and enemies. So you just continue on, and in this next part, there are spikes and slippery floors and wolves. So don't slip into the spikes, don't get caught by the wolves like that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you got past the, what is it? Oh well, polar bear stage. Um, then you should know the basic sliding on ice mechanics in this game, or physics, or whatever. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard when, when, if you if you got past there. I don't know about this area with all the spikes. I don't know if you can like swing across there, but I never tried it because it never looked worth it. But anyway, in this next part. There is water rising, and uh, you have to jump onto an iceberg. I think that's an iceberg, I don't know. I'm not really a scientist of that field. But anyway, you jump on the giant thing of ice, and uh, as the water rises, the ice rises, so you rise as well. And you just gotta fight these fish that jump around, and then occasionally these crab things. And all that can really go wrong is you try to get that cyber off and you end up not jumping to the ice in time. But it's a pretty, it's, it's not too hard of a segment. So then in this next area, um, there's more ice over here, and you can swing across as well, but not all the way across because I think the level goes, level goes underwater. And uh, yeah, you just keep going. You can swim while you're underwater, but it's not really too helpful. So this part's kind of difficult, if you don't know how to jump properly, but in water you can jump higher, so it's a little bit easier. But anyway, I believe we are almost to the boss room. And, uh, yeah, here we are. So yeah, it's not the hardest stage, if you know what you're doing, and, uh, here is the boss. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Zero. I guess Fefnir's decease infected me. Once I start thinking of you, I stop caring about the Dark Elf. Even if the world dies, I'll be happy as long as I can defeat you. Now, let's battle! What? What the hell? Alright. So out of all of the transformations that the Guardians turn into, I think this is probably the best one. Uh, I'm not going to say what Harpuya's was, but, you know, it wasn't my favorite either. But anyway, uh, this mermaid jet thing that, um, what was her name, Fairy Life and turned into, uh, it goes away and then it shoots these ice dragon things that have two attacks, they either follow you or create a wall, and then um, she like rushes at you like that, and dash attack or whatever you want to call it. And then she also shoots out ice things that either ricochet off the ground and fly into the air, like that, that you just saw in the corner, or they um, fall from the from a laser that she shoots. So there's the first kind. Okay, so, um, now I'll try to get things straight. When she does that dash attack... Oh, I died. Or zero. Anyway, when she does that dash attack, she'll be like, haha, and then dash at you. But, uh, it d does change depending on where you're standing. If you're, like, on the ceiling, she'll dash, uh, higher. And, uh, if you're on the floor, she'll dash from there. But if you're in the middle, you could probably dash underneath the dash attack, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, just watch out for that. Um, yeah, just use your fire, your fire chips, they do a whole lot of damage. And, uh, even though it has three health bars, uh, it shouldn't take too long when you have the fire chip equipped with your full charge shots. So just, uh, yeah. Uh, my strategy, even though it's not the quickest one, is to stay on the other side and wait for her to do that. Haha, <laughs> dash thing. Haha, <laughs> dash thing. Okay, well anyway, um, 
it is much faster if you like run over there, but then uh, you'll probably do her haha dash thing. It's, it's, it's official name now, and uh, or trap you with the dragons, and then do her haha dash thing, which does I believe the most damage. I am not completely sure though. But anyway, just watch out for that and keep doing your cedar slashes. I don't know if I already said that. Oh well. Yeah, just use your buster attacks to take out the uh, dragons and ice stuffs, but try to use the saber as uh, your main method of attacking um, Leviathan herself. I'm probably not doing a very good job of leading by example in this video, or footage, or whatever, but uh, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. But now that I know what I'm doing, after I recorded the video, um, I don't want to record it again. So anyway, that's how you- the best way to do it, even though I'm not really showing you how to do it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much longer this is gonna take me. It's a good thing I used that sub tank, or else I'd be dead. But, uh, yeah, just keep doing this, and you should be able to get it hot just fine. Okay, now I definitely said that before, but this is taking too long. Oh. Did I just have to say that? And it would've gone faster? Oh, well. <sighs> I'm getting worse than ever. The only thing I can take seriously is fighting with you, but I'm happy. I'll keep going, dreaming that I could destroy you someday. See you soon, soon. I've set a coordinate axis. Now you can return to here anytime you want. So please return to the base once. Please, Zero. Zero is returning. Transfer in progress. Two. One. Transfer complete. Zero, are you okay? I'm sorry that I asked you to risk your life. Okay, well, looks like I'm out of time here. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. And, um... I was about to say like and subscribe, but that's more like a... Technique for brainwashing. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Peace and sheep.